Okay. My wife bought me a plasma ball for Christmas because uh, I've always wanted one actually since I was a kid and never had one. So my wife bought me a $25 uh, plasma ball and on screen you can see the halo wave which uh, I managed to separate one beam and then split it into two. Um, at certain points you can see a little point between the two side waves um, which basically shows that it passes through each other in clockwise and counterclockwise in the way that I have described in hundreds of my videos. Uh, but that isn't actually the purpose uh, of the video today. Um, I just, uh, I did a, uh, not so much a time lapse, well it was, I was trying to get continuous shots of the plasma ball because I have a star trail uh, program where you can then put in a procession of uh, photographs. Now, I don't, unfortunately, my GoPro only takes uh, 30 at a time and then it will stop. So I still miss uh, everything in between those 30 shots. So um, I just took a time lapse with two second intervals, which unfortunately doesn't give me any flow. Um, but uh, basically, what I've done is to show that the sun is a plasma ball um, and uh, it has a solid core and according to Dr. Pierre-Marie Robitaille um, it's uh, like a metallic hydrogen core. So I'm just going to show you the plasma ball here. I ran um, a minute's worth of uh, time-lapse photos taken at two seconds each um, and I want to show you how the sun's surface is made. Some people might decide that what I'm telling you is rubbish but um, the sun's spicule surface is caused exactly the same as this plasma ball. I've said that inside the sun is electricity and it passes through matters of electromagnetism and then when it hits the surface it's electricity and electromagnetism because the whole thing is a cascade. Um, but basically what I'm about to show you shows you how the surface of the sun is made by spicules um, which in fact look like sprites that we have on earth so uh, imagine if the earth had so many lightning bolts and so many sprites that it covered the whole earth and uh, basically that's what you're about to see so this is my educated opinion on how the surface of the sun is formed thanks very much my name is lee i'll follow the christ and i'm showing you all the things that he jammed inside my head thanks a lot Okay, I just took some more photos. I decided to uh, set up my stand uh, with my camera and uh, do a pile of burst shots. So I'm gonna put 300 together inside the Star Trail pick now. So there's a second break between each, but we should see progression of about six different sets of burst shot. All right, let's have a look. I've speeded this one up by 300%. It basically gives the same pattern. It would be nice to do a continuous and then you would be able to see every path of travel because some of them wind round in vortices. All right, here we go. Thanks. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. So there we go. Uh, people can disagree with this, but you know, obviously, if you are, um, you better have a good reason because just, uh, just putting down um, will get you blocked. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. I think I'll start work on the D-Wave video now. All right. Bye.